Hello, 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 my friends, and welcome back to my home sweet home construction zone. So if you recall in the last video, we were working hard to make new treads for my basement stairs. So we cut them and we planed them. Um, and I told you that Jay was going to make them a nice smooth edge. Can you see that, how beautiful that is? So the treads are all ready to be installed onto my new basement stairs. Reminder that the stairs used to be going a different direction and we changed the direction of the stairs. So now they're directly underneath the going upstairs stairs. So we're thinking that this will make a better use of the space that we have. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we are in the basement. Already, these stairs are such an improvement over the old ones. I don't know if I ever had a real good picture of them, but they were pretty sketchy. And I always kind of, you know, thought I was gonna fall through and stuff. So either way, we needed new stairs, but I'm loving this angle versus the other angle because it just makes so much more sense. It's so great. So Jay already did the top and the bottom stairs and he was checking to make sure everything was fitting right. So what we're gonna do is a simple place and screw. to be careful where I stand because if I stand on the edge then I'll flip up and die. Oh that looks nice. That looks really nice. Actually, this is really nice. Other than my footprints. Look how interesting this is. It's some sort of a, I mean, this is ice now. Not super thick ice, but what do you guys think that is for? I mean, we've got the well or whatever that is back there, and then there's this. I really think that it has something to do with the, you know, whatever this starch mill, whatever this was in the past, but I don't know what that would actually be for. Alrighty, so what we're doing here is two screws, two screws, and two screws. It's so cold outside, but it's actually not that bad in here, surprisingly. Which is good because sometimes gloves are real pain. Can't do anything with them. Gotta make sure it's actually going into the wood. The nice thing about this is that who really cares what it looks like? It's just for the basement. because it, so on Friday before Christmas, Christmas Eve Eve, it was super warm. It was like 50 degrees and just pouring rain. And then about two o'clock in the afternoon, it just went all of a sudden, like the temperature just dropped. And then it was so cold and so windy 
there was so much ice. It was like the roads were horrible. And it was just like, so then all Christmas weekend was just absolutely frigid and the roads were just glare ice everywhere. So it was like really difficult in that way. You know, nobody wanted to get out, etc. understandably. And it was just, you know, not the best weather-wise. I was worried that all of our snow was going to go away because, um, you know, of the pouring rain. But it actually wasn't bad, so that was good. We still have snow. We still had a white Christmas, but we also had a very icy Christmas. Christmas where I get together with my friends and then we stay overnight and we have a whole party. So that was Christmas Eve Eve night. So that was Friday night. And then on Saturday night we had our Christmas Eve service at church. So and I sing in the service so I had to get there early. We had that and then we always have a party at my parents house. And then Christmas morning was a Sunday this year. So then we had church Sunday morning and I had I always have to get there early to practice the music and whatnot. And then my aunt and uncle came up, which was great, and we had a great time with them. But by the end of the weekend, I was so tired. So today is Monday after Christmas that I'm actually doing this. And I slept last night from 9.30 p.m. Thankfully, I don't have to work today. 9.30 p.m. to 9.30 a.m. this morning. A full 12 hours. I was so exhausted. It was just like running from one thing to the next. And they were all really fun things, and I was happy about them. But it was just, I was so exhausted. But I'm so thankful that I have off today for Christmas because Christmas was on Sunday. So I have a day of rest. Which is much, much needed. looking at this I mean they all look pretty much the same to me but probably the technical way is to make sure that they're all exactly in the middle and it's the same amount hanging off of each end you know but it's my basement and I really don't care and they look they look the same to me I don't know to the naked eye they look fine they look more than fine. They look amazing. I am so happy to have these beautiful new stairs.
I believe that this video is coming out on New Year's Eve day, so I want to wish you all a very happy New Year's, and I hope that 2023 is your best year yet. I would also like to say happy anniversary to my brother and sister-in-law. Their anniversary is today, and happy birthday to my dear niece, Noelle, who turned 10 years old yesterday. So I wanted to say a huge thank you to the people who sent me Christmas cards and ornaments and all sorts of fun stuff. I really appreciate it. It always made my day when I got something in the mail. I love to get mail, so thank you so much. One more. someone goes down the stairs. And this is what it's going to look like when someone goes up the stairs. 
They're pretty snazzy, aren't they? I'm impressed. Well, a special thank you to Jay, who is the mastermind behind these beautiful stairs. Thank you to Jim, my father, who sawed the lumber and provided the dry kiln and planer, etc. And yeah, I'm very pleased, very pleased. So I wanted to show you a couple of design things that I don't think that I talked to you about regarding the change of the stairway. Okay, so I know that we've talked about the kitchen and how that's gonna change. So the door is obviously gonna be right here and the, the pantry is gonna start on the other side of the door. So the door to the pantry will be like over here. And that is going to be, the plan is still a um, pocket door. So it can stay open most of the time and it'll slide over here. And um, if I wanna close it, you know, I can close it or I can close it all the time. Who knows what I will actually do. But that's the plan, so then that's not in the way. This is gonna be a regular door because it just is. Um, there's not a place for it to slide, and it's not like it's gonna be open ever except for when it's being used, so it's fine. Um, so that's gonna be a regular door. That shouldn't take up space because it won't be open like this door. But the hallway is gonna be a nice four foot hallway and then the kitchen will be right here as per the plan. So that's the deal with that side of it. But what I haven't talked to you about too much, I don't think that I recall, is where the door to the basement used to be. So we have a special treat here. It's called a new floor that Jay did for me. So thank you so much, Jay. You are the best. And um, because we now have a floor, we can take down these walls. I almost started doing it one time, trying to tear down this wall stuff, and then I was like, Abby, don't do that. You're gonna fall down into the basement and die. So I didn't. So basically the plan for this is to be a closet. The chimney is gonna go down through there like it did before, but I'm thinking we can make this chimney room a little bit smaller so that not quite as much space is taken up with that and more of it can be into the closet space. But all of these walls have to come out, so fun things ahead. <laughs> but my plan for this is for it to be a closet and it's gonna come in from this side. So here's the front door, here's the staircase. And this here is where the closet door is gonna be. I believe that it's wide enough so that I can have it, you walk in and have the ha clothes hanging on this side. Um, if that makes sense. So it'll be, you'll be able to walk in and then have the clothes hanging. So that'll be like a coat closet. That is my plan as of now. And so like I said, it's going to go this distance plus some of that. What we've decided on as of now is to have like a sort of like a door or a false back to the closet. So you, if you walk straight in, you could open up the wall on the other side and that will get you into where the chimney is. So you still have access to it, but it's not like right there in your living room or whatever, you know. It's just like in case of an emergency and you need to get to the chimney for some reason, you can get to it, but it's not right in your face. But one of the things that I was thinking of Yesterday, my aunt and uncle were here for Christmas, and um, I brought them to the house, you know, to show them this hot mess. And uh, we were talking about the, the doors that used to be in this room. Do you guys recall that? So there were so many doors in this room that you walk into. There were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight doors. Eight doors in this room. Eight. That's a lot of doors. And from the start, we're like, okay, so how can we get rid of some of these doors? And I was thinking about what our plan is as of now, today, and we are down to two. There's only gonna be two doors. The entrance door, and then the laundry room door, which will be right next to it. Well, and this door. But I don't really, I mean, yeah, it's a door, so three doors. But really, in my mind, it's more of like a big window. You know, it's not, it doesn't look like, you know, 
it's a sliding glass door. It's different. But yeah, three doors, I guess. But still, from eight, that's a big improvement. But anyway, I think that the change in the basement stairs is a really good thing. And I'm excited for even the closet. Well, because, let me just show you. There's this shelf here, so you have an idea how deep it is. So if you're walking in, and here's the uh, door, you know. Like, there should be enough room to have your, whatever it would be, like, I think 18 inches is like a normal space for a hanging clothing. You know, you can have a nice setup where it's still really good for hanging clothing and hanging your coats and hanging, like having baskets or whatever for your hats. What I really want is a nice, and have shoes, shoe racks, and a place for your purse and stuff like that. I think that'll be really nice. Originally, I was thinking of having the laundry room and the coat closet together. I know, I think that was the last way that I had told you guys. But I was thinking about it and I feel like the coat closet by itself and then have the laundry room with all of my cleaning supplies, you know, have a cleaning slash laundry utility closet, whatever you wanna call it. I feel like that's a better bet because the way that my house is now, I have the laundry room and the coat closet in the same room. And it's, I mean, it's fine, it works out fine, but to, when you're hanging your clothes to dry, which is what I do all the time, for one, it's all in the way and you're like climbing over your clothing rack to um, hang up your clothes, so that's a pain. But also, if you have guests and, you know, to hang up their clothes, to, you know, say, oh, there's a coat closet, just hang up your clothes, your coats, you know, is way nicer when it's just a coat closet and it's not the laundry room overflowing baskets of laundry and your underwear hanging from the ceiling and stuff like you don't want to send your guests in there to hang up their coats so I just feel like this will be really nice to have its own coat closet and then have all my cleaning and laundry and all that stuff tucked away in, in its own room so that's my thought on that let me know what you think if that's a good idea or a bad idea um but that's where I'm leaning as of now Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy my beautiful new stairs as much as I do. I will see you guys next time on A Drill in a Dream.